If your past client work isn't causing potential clients to rush to work with you, then you're probably not doing this secret hack that almost all six to seven figure photographers are actually doing. And that is working with local models. Today, I'm dishing on why you need to be working with local models for your boudoir photography business. And it's gonna help you blow up in your business. And I'm also gonna dish the secret to getting these models to work with you for free. Ready to learn my secrets? Let's dive in. Hey, I'm Tracy and I help photographers stay forever booked out without the hustle. Be sure to grab my free guide outlining my five best tips for booking photography clients without Facebook ads. Now, the first reason that every boudoir photographer needs to photograph models is because you're gonna learn so much. And to be honest, this is a very underrated reason as to why you should work with models. They have so much experience in front of a camera. They know how to move. They know how to give different facial expressions. They know what their best angles are. And they know how to create the right kind of curves. And that means that you're learning what might be the best pose for different body types, or maybe why certain poses are not going to work for you. Basically, you're practicing and you're learning what's going to work for you and the way that you shoot. When I was practicing and learning how to shoot boudoir, I photographed 40 models in one year. And I practiced so much that everything was second nature from the way that I gave direction to the way that I actually photographed my clients. Another great reason to photograph models is you can get so many outfit ideas. And here's an example. I would never have tried these three outfit ideas if I hadn't photographed them with a model. At the time, this model was a fashion blogger and she brought the best outfits. They were always so original. And now they're some of my go-to outfit suggestions. And of course, models know their angles so well that they come very prepared with outfits that are gonna flatter their body type. But also, they come prepared with poses that they wanna try, making your job even easier and fun. That means that you're gonna end up with poses that are gonna stand out from the crowd and really help you gain the attention of your ideal client. By the way, are you looking for a new set of poses to try on some models? Be sure to check out my posing guide. It is sure to help you bring in those four figure sales easily. Let's talk about the second reason that every boudoir photographer needs to photograph models. And that's because you get new images to post. These images will catch the eye of potential clients. Sure, you can post images from past clients. Those are great. And I know that some clients photograph like models models. That is not the norm, but it does happen. And I know that your clients love their images so much and want to see them on your Instagram. The thing is though, you need images that are going to be super scroll stopping. You need images that make potential clients say, I want that photographer to photograph me. I want to look like that. Models who have experience are going to help you create those images. They're going to help you create more usable content. And this content is absolutely going to catch the eye of your ideal client. And the third reason that every boudoir photographer needs to photograph models is you're gonna make local connections. And especially if your model is a business owner. I try to be super strategic with the models that I choose. For example, three of the models that I photograph in St. Louis are actually fitness instructors in the city, all in different areas, of course. Photographing them has helped me book more clients a whole lot easier. And that's for two reasons. Now, the first reason is because these photos are very eye-catching and they get my audience excited about those photos. But the second reason is because they're sending their clients to me. They want their clients to experience what I offer. And that's because they've experienced what I offer and they believe in what I do as much as I do. Now, another connection you could make is with local influencers. I mentioned the fashion blogger earlier. It was even better working with her because she has a local following. And when she tags your business on Instagram, your local following is going to explode as well. And if she's an actual influencer, she's going to influence her followers to book with you. That's what we want, right? Now, let's talk about how you can actually find and work with photography models to grow your local following and your business in your community. I'm going to screen record exactly how I would find these models through Instagram. Okay, so the first thing I would do is go to search and do like STL model. And look through and just see if there's anyone who I might want to work with that I haven't already worked with before. So I'm just searching. She's in St. Louis. So 
so then I would look through. I actually like her. The only thing that I'm worried about is she may not have a lot of St. Louis followers, but that being said, and it doesn't really look like she does, I think that I would learn a lot from her. So she's definitely one that I would want to photograph. Um, just because I would learn a lot from her. I don't know that I'll necessarily get a lot out of it, like as far as sessions being sent to me, but I would, I would definitely learn a lot about like angles with her and expressions and getting that expression and the angles and the pose exactly how I want. I bet she would bring some really good outfits. So she's a cosmetologist and she looks like she would post some of the boudoir photos. She's got 6,400 followers. She actually looks like she would be a really good one. Um, looks like she knows her angles and she knows her, um, like she would have really great outfits. So I would definitely reach out to her. Another thing that you could do is go in and do like STL Fitness and see what accounts there are. You could also just go to accounts and see, but I like to go to the For You page. and see if there's anybody in here who I might want to work with. This one would be good. Let's see if she would be willing to post boudoir is the only thing. I don't know that she would, so let's keep looking. And you really just keep searching until you find somebody who looks like they might be willing to post. And like this one, I don't know that she would be willing to post, but you could always just reach out and chat with her and see what she thinks. But we just keep going until we find a few. I never want to just find one or two. I'd rather put a lot of feelers out there and see what happens this one probably would be good because of the um, pole dancing studio thing she would probably be willing to post for you and she has almost 4,000 followers and she does instruction so I think she'd be a really good one yeah I think that one would be really good I definitely reach out to her now, another thing that you could do is just post something on your stories. Now, the only holdup I have about this is the ones who are following you, following your story are actually potential clients. So you're basically giving them a free session. So to me, I would rather just get on Instagram and search out potential models. These models are the ones that I wanna work with and who would also teach me at the same time. So most of these are gonna be TFP or trade for print or trade for photos. It used to be trade for print, but I mean, it is 2023 now. So let's just call it trade for photos or TFP. Occasionally a model is gonna to try to charge you. I don't work with those type of models unless I'm actually hosting a workshop. So what I would recommend Find the models who are ready to trade with you and who will also promote you at the same time. And that's my booking secret about why every boudoir photographer should be working with models. Be sure to subscribe to get my next video, which is on my Black Friday sale strategy. And while you wait for that, be sure to check out this video. If this was helpful, let me know and give it a like. Lainey says bye and thank you for watching.